My name is David Weinberger. Um, I've been working on a project called Library Cloud. Library Cloud is an open metadata server that takes metadata that uh, often has been ignored within libraries, makes it available so that developers can incorporate this metadata into their applications. Library Cloud is not serving up pages of, of digitized pages of books, rather it's serving up information about those books and other library items. How often are they checked out? How many copies do they have? How many times is a work put on reserve? How many times is it called back early? How many times is it um, uh, used in a course? Is it showing up in syllabi? So all those sorts of information about the item um, might be useful in some application that some developer somewhere is thinking about. And so Library Cloud wants to make as much of that information or metadata available as possible so that we can get innovative new applications and so that what libraries know, not just about what the works are, but how, are they, how they're being used, that what libraries know can be um, spread throughout the entire uh, internet ecosystem. Libraries, like um, every other institution that started uh, you know, 50 years ago putting in databases and computers, were design, designed their information systems to support some specified uses, which made perfect sense, right? You know you need a checkout system and a way of assessing fines, overdue fines, and managing inventory and all the rest of it. So you put in databases, you design them to do those very specific things. They're very robust and useful systems. In the world of the web, and especially sort of Web 2.0, um, that thinking got inverted, I think in a useful way, where you, instead of um, designing your back end only to support specified uses, you instead um, design a back end that's capturing as much information as it can. You use it to build the systems that you need, but you also try to get more value out of that information by opening it up to other developers who may have ideas you didn't think of. So rather than building closed systems designed around a few services, you build far more open systems and uh, so that you can build the services you need and you get tremendously more value. At least that's the idea. If you're within a university community, for example, it's entirely plausible that you could provide facilities by which people discuss the works, and if they agree, uh, perhaps anonymously capture that information as well, you start to build up very rich uh, information about how your particular community uses it. It's sort of fascinating to think about the possibilities of comparing um, community relevance for the Harvard community and for uh, any other, a public library, uh, other universities, the Digital Public Library of America, any set that we're able to get a contribution of data from. Especially for a well-formed community, university, most local communities, that is extra special good. If I can be technical for a moment.